I'm here at the MIT Media Lab, Daza Greenwood, the instructor for the fifth annual MIT Computational Law course starting next week. Uh, it's happening on January 7th, 8th, and 9th um, with a cap off section toward the end of the month and um, joined by co-instructor Brian Wilson. Hi, Brian. Hey, how's it going? And this little video segment is basically a teaser just to give you a taste of our kickoff session with a friend of, of our program, the computational law program here at MIT, and uh, what I would now call a regular lecturer um, in the class, Chris Berendt, who is, um, I would consider, a thought leader and a practitioner of law and a person who's done his share of innovation in the realm of digital assets and uh, and, and in particular under CFTC regulation. And you're gonna, you're gonna teach us something about that. And so Chris, could you introduce yourself and maybe give us a little sneak preview in the lecture to come, please? Thanks, Daza. Hi, everyone. Um, I'm Chris Barrent. I'm a, a regulatory and transactional attorney um, at um, uh, Drinker Biddle and Wreath, um, a soon to be Fagri Drinker. Um, we, uh, we're going to spend some time together uh, on Tuesday in the computational law class, um, where, um, as is, uh, the time of year, we're going to, we're going to tell some stories. Um, and in fact, we're going to get into a regulatory story, which is really, I mean, come on, what's more fun in a computational law class than a regulatory story? It's but, a rollicking good time. Yeah, romping good time. So a regulatory story, but what's interesting about the story that we're going to tell um, is it's a story that bears on the, the, the fascinating legal question of what really is the nature of digital assets? What is the legal thing that we're going to characterize, um, that we're going to uh, uh, color tokens, coins, and the rest of it with? Are they securities? Are they commodities? Um, what, what really are they? Are they digital currencies? Um, what could they be? Well, that answer is still evolving, but, you know, just as we look at other disciplines, um, uh, we're going to look, go back to stories, regulatory stories, to look at what type of um, dynamics bear in on this question. Now, the story might surprise you. It's a story that involves renewable energy projects, bushels of corn, carbon credits, fishing licenses, copyrights, intellectual property, things other than intellectual property dynamics like patents and things like that. But fundamentally, it's going to be a lesson on structuring transactions, instruments, and markets, um, and really on what it means to exist, which is, you know, kind of an interesting existential crossover that we get in this area of the law that, you know, you don't, you don't often find in the, in the land of transactions. So I'm going to leave everybody with one thought, really a riddle before the class. For uh, a riddle will, a riddle will you pose? A riddle, a riddle. And here it is. What is alike because they have nothing in common? Ponder that. Check out the reading that Daza and Brian are going to send out. And I look forward to talking to everybody on Tuesday. Outstanding. Okay. And so with that, you can learn more, you can sign up for the class, and you can participate and give us your best thoughts on the answer to the riddle. And also come, come along and hear the story with us and then help us weave that narrative and class discussion afterwards. All of that is available to you at law.mit.edu. Come on in and join us for a computational law course, January 2020.